So this is the second video in a series of the prime number theorem. And one important part of the prime number theorem and in establishing it is using the logarithmic integral. Now the way to write the logarithmic integral is L i of x. Now we use that terminology because the logarithmic integral is non-elementary. So when you try to integrate it, it causes you all kinds of problems. So in this video, I'm going to show you what happens when we try and integrate it. So first of all, let's write down what this integral looks like. So a logarithmic integral with regards to x is going from two to x. So x is the limit of your integration. We start from two. We start from two because two is the first prime number, hence the prime number theorem. And then we want one over the log of t dt. Now integrating this is going to cause us many problems, but we know that if we integrate the log of t without being a reciprocal, we can do that no problem. We can do that in calculus one classes, but the reciprocal of it causes some issues. So how do we go about it? Well, we've got log of t in the bottom. Note that's the natural log of t. So that's log based e. So how are we going to do it? Well, we need integration by parts. So integration by parts. And the formula for integration by parts is the integral of u dv equals uv minus the integral of v and the, and the du. So these dvs and du's are derivatives and the u, the uv, they're all the function and v there. So we need to work out what we're going to try and integrate and what we're going to use as it is. So dv, we need to find, use something to find the derivative of. Well, we can find the derivative of one over log of t. But looking at that, there's nothing else we can use. So what we do is we put in front one times one over log of t. That way then we've got our u term and we know how we can integrate that to give us uh, different parts of our formula. Okay, so u times dv. So what we're going to assign to which? So if we let u equal our uh, one over log of t, and then we'll assign our dv to the one, because I know we can integrate that. Okay, let's take the derivative of one over log of t so equals. So we can use the reciprocal rule on this. So we use the negative and then log of t, we just square it. So it becomes log squared of t. Now remember, this is not log of a log of t. This is where students sometimes get mixed up. This is actually that's wrong. This is actually log of t squared. That's what that's the equivalent to. So it's always good to remember that. So not forgetting the chain rule, the derivative of log of t is 1 over t. So we now need to put that in the top. So now we've got 1 over t. So my t, I'm just going to bring down out front here. And then dv, we can integrate that no problem with respect to t and we just get v is r t. Okay, so integration by parts. So logarithmic integral, first stage of integration, we've got uv, which is part of our answer. So that's u and v. So we've got t over log of t. So that's the first part of our answer. And that's from two to x. And then next we need to subtract the integral of v, which is t, and then du. So the derivative of u is minus 1 over t log squared of t. So multiply this by minus 1 over t log squared of t. And that's dt. And not forgetting our parameters, 2 to x. 
Okay, well we can evaluate this. So plug in our x value. So then we get x over log of x. That's pretty straightforward. And now we're going to get a value because we've got our 2 here. So now we subtract 2 over log of 2. Okay, now we need to subtract this integral here. So 2 to x. Notice these t's cancel out. So we're now we're left with minus 1 over log squared of t dt. Note two minus signs. We can cancel them out, switch this to a plus. So that's fine. So now we're left with integration by parts again. So now we need to change some of these values on here. What we need for our u and our dv is going to remain the same, except for squared. But our du and our v, we need to just make sure we've got the correct values for that. So our log now becomes log squared of t. So let's take the derivative of that. So du equals, well, log squared of t is the same as log of t to the minus 2. So the derivative of that, now we're going to have minus 2 on the top. Bring this log squared of t to a log cubed of t. And then take the derivative of the this one here with the chain rule. So the log of t is just t, 1 over t. So we need a t on the bottom. So that's what we got now for our integration by parts for this one here. So imagine this coming down. I'm now going to deal with this derivative here. So now we're going to add. So integration by parts, u, dv. We set out what each part of that's going to be. Now we've got uv. So u times v is v over, uh, sorry, t over log squared t. Bearing in mind we need to use our parameters yet again. And then subtract another integral. So v times du. So that's t times this one. So now we can have minus 2t over t log cubed of t, dt. Okay, so let's bring these numbers down and let's try something on this line. So now we've got x over log x minus 2 over log of 2. We can plug in some values here. So where we see a t we can put an x. So we're going to add x over log squared of x and now subtract the values when t is 2. So minus 2 over log squared of 2. So that's log of 2 squared. So I'm going to change that just so as we don't get too confused. So log of 2 squared and now we can just clean this integral up here and now we've got another integral so let's put in our parameters, 2 to the x, same again, 2 to the x. And then our 2 minus is cancelled, so that becomes a plus. Our t both cancel as well. So now we've got 2 over log cubed t dt. Okay, that's where we are so far. So I'm just going to clean up the board bring this up here and then we'll go for the next stage. Okay, so this is where we got to so far. So let's just do one more round of integration by parts and then we'll see where we get to. So these are already sorted. So I'm just gonna concentrate on this value for the moment. So now I'm gonna use my integration by parts. So log cubed of t now. So I'm gonna still imagine there is a one in front of that. But now actually I've got a two there, so I could put a two in there for my dv. So therefore my v, taking the integral of that, give me two t. So that will help me nicely with that one. And now my log cubed of t, let's take the derivative of that. So log cubed of t in the denominator is the same as log of t to the power of minus three. 
So now all we need to do is do minus three in our number on the top, on our numerator, and then log this time to the power of four of t. We drop the, uh, sorry, increase the power by one as it's in the denominator, and then take the derivative of log of t, which is just one of over t. So minus three, log four of t times t. Okay, so now let's plug that in there and see where we get to. So this alone, let's just bring this here. It's gonna give me our UV, which is two T over this. So that's two T over log cubed of T. And again, that's over my range of my integration, which is two to the X and two to X. And then we subtract another integral, which is V times DU. So we've got two T and we've got this minus three over T log four to the uh, T. So I've got minus six, two T, minus three times two T, sorry, minus six T over T log four to the T. And that's all DT. Okay. Now again, we've got the same simplification as we had before. We can change this to a plus and cancel out the two t's. But now I'm ready to bring down all of these values. So as this is going to show us our answer, I'm just going to do this in a different pattern to what I did before. So x over log squared of x. Before I come to these, I'm going to plug in my x for these. So now I've got 2x over log cubed of x. So now plus 2x over log cubed of x. Now I'll put in my constants here. So minus 2 over log of 2, minus 2 over log squared of 2. And now I'll plug in my 2 from here because that's going to be another subtract. So now plug in 2 for here, I've got a 4 and then log cubed of 2. Let's just make that a little bit straighter. And then now I'm just going to tidy this up. So this cancel out, that's going to be a plus. The t's cancel out. So now I'm going to have a 6 in my numerator, in my, yeah, my numerator on the top. And then log to the 4t. And then that's dt. So now just to tidy this up, to make these addition, it's going to go along with that. So I'm going to get x over log x plus x over log squared of x plus 2x over log cubed of x. And then I'm going to subtract all of these here for my constants. So I'm going to have 2 over log of 2. Now as these are all going to be inside a bracket, I'm now going to add what I've got left, 2 log squared of 2 plus 4 over log cubed of 2 there in the brackets. And then now I can add this last integral, which we can still keep going on and on and on. Let's not find forget my parameters of integration. 2 and x and then 6 over log to the 4 t d t. So that is where I'm going to take this to for now. And then we're going to use this a little bit later in the series to prove the prime number theorem. Okay.